If your name is supporter, you're part of a community that's doing some amazing things. Thanks to your help, we're training local leaders to provide basic health services, essential medications, and clean water. Most importantly, we're investing in people and relationships to transform communities. Right now, we're taking the best of what we've learned here at Amos to try to tackle one of the biggest problems in global health today, which is childhood malnutrition. And in our communities, this is really critical and crucial right now, because if you don't reverse childhood malnutrition or anemia before the age of two, this can lead to permanent developmental consequences. Since we consider all of you as donors of Amos part of our team, we want to give you guys an inside look at the four innovative approaches we're using right now to try to break the cycle of anemia and malnutrition in the communities we serve here in Nicaragua. One of the things we know from years of working in rural healthcare is that communities can be really diverse, each with its own strengths and challenges. Given each community's unique context, how do we improve childhood nutrition? We build relationships. With support from donors like you, Amos has been going door to door in our communities, talking to moms and other caregivers about their childcare practices. Like, do children wash their hands before they eat? Do they get enough to eat? Are healthy foods even available in their communities? By understanding the unique needs of each community, Amos can adapt our existing nutritional programs to local realities and have a greater impact on childhood nutrition. There are some messages and advice that nutrition programs of other organizations or governments give to families, like sit with the children at the table. But most of the houses we have visited don't have a table. And so the nutrition advice that families are receiving is not based in the reality of families in the rural communities. These suggested resources just aren't available. This kind of research helps us focus on the kids who are healthy and on the moms who are doing things right. Then these moms can share their knowledge with other caregivers so that healthy habits like choosing the right foods become a part of the very fabric of the community. Imagine you're a mom living in rural Nicaragua and you have a new baby at home. There are no parenting classes to go to, no books on newborn childcare to read, no groups for new moms at the local Y. Maybe there's a health promoter in your community or a doctor at the local clinic, but he's male and you don't feel completely comfortable talking to him about breastfeeding or other issues that only another woman could understand. That's where Amos comes in. With your help, we're piloting a community mothers program to encourage and educate and support women before and after pregnancy. We've trained a group of volunteer moms who will provide other moms in their community with prenatal care advice, breastfeeding support, and other topics related to their baby's well-being. These moms will bring a softer touch to our community-based healthcare model, offering both practical tools and emotional support where it's needed the most. I believe that with the help of the volunteer mothers, there will be a change. Before, there wasn't anyone who could offer a mother advice. Now, new mothers will receive advice from us about what is best for them, based on the training that we received. It's a way to help women who have trouble going to see a doctor or get to the clinic. I want to be able to help them prevent certain diseases or complications during their pregnancy. At the core of our Community Mothers program is the belief that every child deserves a healthy start. And our community moms will be doing this starting with one child at a time. Young people are one of the most valuable assets of any community. But for many Nicaraguan youth, the future isn't that bright. Nicaragua has the highest rate of teen pregnancy in all of Central America, which has serious implications for childhood illness and malnutrition. I think an important figure to know is that over 50% of malnourished children in the communities that Amos works in come from mothers that are under the age of 26. And that's pretty telling of the connection between teen pregnancy, young motherhood, and the effects of that in the newborn child and the risks they have in terms of nutritional deficiencies. 
Donors like you have enabled Amos to build and strengthen a peer-facilitated program for rural youth that addresses teen health and the prevention of risky behaviors, while also giving them tools to become agents of change in their community. This program is so important, and we feel really privileged to have had it in our community. We have been able to empower ourselves and teach other youth to empower themselves, to think positively, not negatively. When young people are empowered and when they're engaged in their community and in their own lives, they make healthier choices and create healthy futures for themselves and for their families. Traditionally, when it comes to medical knowledge and skills, information has been kept in the hands of highly trained people like doctors or nurses. But in remote rural communities, we don't have the luxury of keeping the knowledge to ourselves. Amos works in places where there is no doctor or nurse, nor will there be one for a really long time. So in this context, our strategy is getting knowledge to the people who need it the most. And one of the ways we do this is by investing in the people. Amos has identified health promoters who show exceptional leadership, teaching, and community building skills. With contributions from donors like you, we're training them to be community mentors. In this new support role, mentors will visit other communities in their area to support and guide the less experienced promoters. In order for the mentors to be able to do their work in the communities with the other health promoters, Amos has provided them with training using participatory popular education methods. The mentors are learning new concepts through activities such as acting out skits to dramatize situations they have seen happen in their communities. Mentors will support and train newer health promoters and community mothers by making sure pregnant women get enough to eat and that they can provide proper nutrition to their children as they grow. By building on the strengths, knowledge, and motivation of these mentors, we're empowering people so that communities themselves can improve the health of mothers and their children. So what's next? We're taking all four initiatives and implementing them in the poorest region we serve, in Chinandega. We'll use our research to identify the unique needs of the community, mobilize volunteer mothers, empower youth to be change makers, and to use our community mentor model to cover even more ground. So this work would definitely not be possible without your support. And if this video inspires you in some way, or you feel like it's inspiring to be a part of trying to make a change and a difference here in Nicaragua, we totally invite you to share it with your friends or your family. So on behalf of all the women and children, of all the people in our communities, of our Amos staff and our team here in Nicaragua, we thank you, all of you, from the bottom of our hearts for this amazing work that you're helping us to do here.